Hey, it's Glenn with the Toy Temple, coming at you with a new toy review. Marvel Legends, Thanos. And it's looking pretty good. Thanos is a Walmart exclusive. I ran about $20. If you want to check them out, see if you have it in stock in your local Walmart. Here is the UPC code flashing across your screen right now. Simple explanation for Thanos as to why he's such a super powerful character is as a child he was obsessed with death. He killed thousands on his home planet including his mother. Uh, his obsession basically led him to meet death itself and in an effort to please her he set out to give a gift to death and really uh, what gift could anyone ever want? And of course it's total annihilation of everything that ever existed. So. Yeah, he basically set out to go find the Infinity Gems and the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, he's got that classic comic book look as opposed to the movie version. And I know that they've made a Build-A-Figure before of him. It seems to me that the trend uh, for the Marvel line is moving towards selling Build-A-Figures as separate entities. Basically this Thanos, he was kind of in a weak wave with Batroc, another Captain America, another Iron Man. Actually a pretty good looking Hulk, Spider-Woman, and Hellcat. So it's nice that they re-released him, gave him his own figure for 20 bucks. It's not bad. He's really, he's really impressive looking. The blue looks good. The gauntlet looks good. Uh, all the way down. You can see the detail on the legs. The blue is crisp. The silver right there looks good. The lines look good. And it goes all the way around. And I'm not mad that it's not gold, but it's got that nice, like, flake in there. So it's not 100% gold paint, but they still shined it up a little bit. Looking at the gauntlet itself, you can see that it's got all uh, six of the Infinity Stones. It's got the uh, purple for space. The blue for the mind, the green ones for soul, yellow reality, uh, the orange one here is for time, and the red one on the thumb right there is power. Looks really good. They did a lot of well, uh, a lot of real looking paint, making sure that it looks shiny. Uh, they included this nice little uh, wrist piece right here. To make the gauntlet go all the way down because that is removable and you just take that part off get rid of it throw on his actual hand and pop on the new hand and I really like that that's great the alternate faces look great you can see a little bit of paint missing right there on the mouth with the uh, with the teeth right there for the smiling face it's a real good look for him. I love that he's got that crazy, crazy face on him. Uh, the paint looks good on the, the mask and the helmet. And on this one, he's got more of a grimace to him. And I like it. I'm glad they included two heads. It's a good look. One thing I dislike about his armor is every time you try to raise his arms above his head, it starts to mess with his shoulder armor and you start to yeah see what I mean it starts to raise out out of the uh, the pegs that they've placed on his shoulder blades and it's not a good look for him here's your size comparison between Marvel Legends Captain America Thanos and Hulk Hulk's obviously a little bit taller than Thanos uh, Captain America just a slightly, slightly dwarfed by Thanos. Uh, yeah, he's a pretty good sized figure. Overall, very happy with the figure. I love the blue, love the intensity with the smiling face. The, the armor's great. I love that he's comic accurate. He's large. Super excited to see what he does in Infinity War. Yeah, really, really great figure. Definitely a must have. Really really great. I mean, I like that they're re-releasing the Build-A-Figures. It's a must-have. I'm calling it right now. It's a must-have. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. 
press that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100 subscribers, so every little bit helps. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at The Toy Temple. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love. This one's going in the yearbook.